Roblox pressure. I came about opening doors, swimming underwater, and hiding in lockers. But what if we eliminate that factor? What if we don't hide in any lockers at all? Well then, today, I'll be attempting to beat Roblox pressure without hiding in any lockers whatsoever. You'll see all my attempts, all the strategies I used, and all the entities and close calls that I encountered. And by the end of the video, we will answer the question, is Roblox pressure lockerless actually easy? And before the video starts, I just want to give a huge thanks to all the members in my channel. I love you guys a lot. You guys are amazing people. With that all out the way, let's get to it. Alright, yes. Um, let's play solo here. Now I'm sort of trying to do freaking um, lockerless. Let's try this thing. For this run, let's not start with any items whatsoever. Let's just go ahead. We're trying to play this legitly, you know what I'm saying? Who cares about items? Nice. Code Breacher was very good. Literally could have bought that in the shop got for free right now. Alrighty, so for my first attempt, I wasn't expecting to really beat the game right off the bat. Instead, I was just testing the waters and experience what the early game feels like. Ice key card. Really, Nick? Now I had to heal. Great. There we go. Okay, I'm hiding right here. Nice. Remember, no lockers. Let's uh, crouch here. And uh, black guy. Oh, shoot. Oh, this is going to be so cooked in like, the, the upper levels and stuff. Nah, bro. Okay, we got to do this thing quick. He's in here. I can hear the growling. Oh, shoot. Lights well, may flicker any time now. And let's not accidentally hide behind the locker, you know what I'm saying, bro? And also, someone might come here. Shoot. Ah, great. I think we're dead. Alright, bro. <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna lie. That was kind of bad. But let's move on to attempt number two, and surely it will go better than last time. Okay, what about attempt number three? Maybe it will... Wait, what? Okay, what about attempt number four? Surely this is the attempt that I... Alright, fine. Attempt number five. I definitely think it will. Alright, alright. Surely attempt number six will be it. Right? It was Chain Smoker all along, dude! No way! Okay, let's just move on to our attempt number seven. Alright, boys, let's go. Let's try to beat this game once and for all. Just, uh, no lockers, of course. We got pretty far in our previous runs, but not, uh, not that far enough. Alrighty, so at this time, I was kind of tired of speaking, so I wasn't doing too much commentary. And pretty much at this point, it was just door opening simulator. And then eventually, the first entity came. Nice. Oh, good item. Give me this thing, bro. We did actually hide inside here as well. I did not recognize this room. Good flash. I do two very good items already. Is there a vent here? Nah, no vents. I'm straight when this guy comes. I knew it. Let's go. I need here. I knew it. Oh, bro. I heard some breathing too. I don't know why I kept going. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I'm an idiot. I don't know why I opened that door, even though I had some suspicion that someone would be inside there. But that's alright. I kept going down the facility, and I was able to hide from this angler here. That's so lucky. Afterwards, it was pretty much back to opening some more doors. I actually got to the swimming segment as well, where I got assaulted by one of these gauntlet event thingies, which actually hurted me a little bit. And then eventually, another angler came. 
Let's try to find another med kit and also uh, not try to die to the good people. This room is good. Med kit, perfect. Dude, room with one locker and someone's in there? Alright, so let me just cut to the chase. I go up ahead and open plenty of these doors, and then I encounter the chain smoker. Chain smoker. Bro, this guy. I then got to the Sebastian part right after, and I was able to buy a med kit, a code breacher, and some batteries. See you next run. Eventually, I got to the server room area, where I did the same mistake as last time and opened a good people door. And then another pinky showed up. Let's have him flicker just yet, my flicker soon. Loki, I'm gonna open this door, go back. I hear him. Not bad of a play. Is this the second time I got him, or maybe that was the other one I forgot? Come on, bro. Long hallway. Oh, this is cooked. Unless we're actually good here. Yeah, we're good here. Alright. Alrighty, boys. Time to not throw. Literally just follow the green lights and you should be good. So after swimming my way out of there, I encountered another gauntlet yet again. And then after surviving that, I went to that broken generator part. There's no red ones near us. Besides that one there. Alright, let's try to follow its path, you know what I'm saying? Nice. After fixing this one, I think we now should do two in a time, in a row. That was very close. That was very lucky, actually. Indeed, it was very lucky. Anyways, I was able to fix all the generators while evading a searchlight up here, and then I left the area. We have time to go back. Apparently we do. Okay. I was actually hoping the angler came from like over there, you know what I'm saying? Wow, what a scary encounter. After progressing further, completing this puzzle here, almost dying to these turrets, and getting jumped by the squiddle, I was able to make it to door 100. That. 35 HP, by the way. Good people, one time we're dead. Random angler, okay. Alrighty, so now I just had to lock in. This means I had to play very smart, I had to be aware of my surroundings, I cannot take any sort of damage whatsoever. I had to look for very good hiding spots. Okay, this is where it gets kind of cooked. I don't have a hiding spot, just kidding, I do. Let's hide in here for a bit. Bad room. Chainsmoker, lead the way for me, thank you. Oh, that's bad. We don't want to look into him. Use our code breacher. Whoops, I accidentally flashed him. I think we're dead. Oh, we're dead. Ooh, that guy could have killed us. Mm. 
think someone's coming. But I don't know where to hide. Shoot. Okay, I think we're dead. Okay, we're gonna die. Someone's coming. That's good, people. I think we're dead. Okay, let's just run. This is bad. This is really bad. Or maybe it's good. Oh my goodness, bro. I think I just did it. Let's go, boys. So that was it. That was me finally getting that longer list badge. And to make things better, I also beat the game right after. Alrighty, let's go, boys! Holy! And I think we can actually make it under 45 minutes, bro. Let's go! Dude, Roblox pressure, no doors. Or no lockers, I mean. <laughs> let's go, man. That was actually a game. That was actually such a good game of pressure. But anyways, what are some of the things that I learned in this challenge? Number one, you need some luck. This mostly applies to like the rooms generated, or maybe the entities that may appear. Prior to my attempt number 7, all my other attempts, all of the rooms have been so bad. And then we have number 2, you do need some skill. This means having the correct knowledge on knowing where to hide, being able to listen to any sounds and identifying which angler that might be, and understanding all of like the timers of the game, for example like the no timers or whatever you call it. And overall, we finally answer the question, is Roblox Pressure Lockerless actually that easy? And my answer to that is, hell no! I mean, unless you're some sort of pro, or maybe an expert at the game, it might be easy for you. But as said, there's actually a lot of luck involved, and a pretty good amount of skill on trying to execute this thing. And remember, once you die, you cannot respawn, you cannot revive or anything like that, as stated in the description. And one more thing before we end, thank you to all my members, I just want to give a huge shout out and thank you to you guys once more, I love you guys a lot. So anyways people, that's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys like. If you guys didn't, make sure you dislike. And yeah, see you guys next time.